the most important lick you'll ever learn. So what makes this lick so great? Well, it's because it uses elements of ideas used by him and 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 him. Yeah, it's got tons of different ideas in there. And if you put it all together, it just sounds fabulous. So we're going to break the lick down. We're going to talk about the different parts of it. And we're also going to talk about how you can adopt it and use it in your own playing. Uh, so you can tweak it a little bit, make it your own, expand on it, play around with it, you know, and really use it to its full potential. So let's just go over the lick itself to start off with. So we're in E minor and we're in position one at the 12th fret, okay? And we're starting off with this. So we're bending up the, the 15th fret of the, the B string. And we're bending it up into this note, which is an E note. So we're bending up to the, basically bending up to the root. But we're doing a bend and... And then tweaking it as many times as you want. So it's, you're bending once. And then again, but it's really important that your bend comes back to exactly the right place. You want it going, dropping back and then hitting that E note. Yeah. So it's doing this all the time. So your bending needs to be really accurate. A couple of points on bending. You need your thumb over the top for bending because you're bending into your thumb. You're squeezing into your thumb. You can't bend with your thumb around the back of the neck. You just haven't got the power there. You've got three fingers on the B string. Right, and you're just pushing up like that into it, yeah? Then after the bend, we've got this. So I'm going. got this like 15 to 12 on the B 14 on the the G back to 12 on the B and then yeah all the tabs is always available on the patreon page just check out the patreon page head over there and have a look over there so we've got really slow flat five in here and with pull offs and that's uh, that's the the minor third that's kind of the first half of it really now the right hand is so important here right i'm doing a lot of economy picking base lines here uh, now what I mean by that is I'm picking in between the strings a lot so you can see I'm doing downstroke oh, there's a little bit of raking going on there as well yeah um, so I'm doing this business so you can see I'm going down down pull off up down Then from there you can see I'm going up, pull off, up. Again, economy picking. And then down. Up, up, up. So economy picking basically allows you to flow very smoothly from one place to another. So if I'm going this way, the pick's going down all the time. Yeah, and if I'm going that way, the pick's going up all the time. When I change directions, I change directions with the pick. And once you've got used to economy picking, it just starts to sort of happen and flow really well. And that's what makes it sound really smooth. That. It's, it's a bit like um, a mini sweep, really. So the whole thing, the first bit, slow.
And then the second part of it is this. Right? So you've got 12, 14, 12. Then a bend. Uh, a full tone bend. That's very Jimmy Pagey. Yeah. Doing a bit of a double stop here. There. Yeah. So that is a... I'm holding the bend at the top and then picking with my little finger underneath. That's very much like Jimmy Page again in um, the whole lot of love solo he does that. So the whole thing is... Yeah. So obviously this is going to work across um, an E blues, it's going to work across an E major blues or an E minor blues because you can play minor across major and obviously minor across minor. Um, so let's look at some of the individual elements here. So you've got this, this bend where you're bending up, up, up into the, the desired note. I could do it here. And this is where you're really teasing the note to get as much out of it as possible. Yeah, you can put a bit of vibrato on there as well. Now you could do this for a little tiny bit of variety. So I'm bending and then sliding. Chris Buck does this sort of stuff quite often. And then vibrato on the top of it. And I could slow it down like this. So now I'm trying to get just different ideas from the lick. Yeah, so I've just taken it and expanded on it a little bit. So let's play around with the second half. We're going to, instead of doing this, Let's do this. So I've mimicked this one, that little bit here. Yeah, hammer on pull off, bend, hammer on pull off, bend. Now let's put in another um, bend where I'm picking a note underneath the bend. Then, yeah, so I've got that one, then this one. So I'm trying to get as much mileage out of the lick as possible. Now in terms of bending a note and picking underneath it, I could do it here. I could do it here. So I've got one there, and one here, and I could do one here. Yeah. Now that's a unison bend because I'm bending this note up to this E and I'm playing the E here. Could do it like that. That or. Yeah, so lots of playing around with little unison bends. It's cool. And it's got a slightly sort of dissonant sound, which is cool as well. That's less dissonant, but it, it kind of starts dissonant. As you're pushing up into the bend, it goes dissonant and then sort of clicks in, which is quite cool. You could push it around, do it in different keys, try playing it across a, a backing track, try tweaking it and playing it across the backing track, try finding four different versions of it and looping those four different versions. Loads of good ideas. Remember to check out the tabs on the Patreon page. Loads of good stuff on there as well. There's probably, I don't know, 100 videos on Patreon now. And catch you next time.